Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yo, I forgot. Well, I knew today was Labor Day, but I wasn't thinking about it being Labor Day. Um, I'm laying here in my file. I just finished recording the Target haul, the couple of pieces that I got, and one of the pieces was shapewear. And girl, this piece is everything. I love it. It's so comfortable. It's still shaping. But it's comfortable. I've literally been laying around the house in it. Um, right now, I'm about to go and check my mail. I did get something delivered outside a few minutes ago. But I was under the impression that I wasn't getting any mail today because it was a holiday. But I got something. So I don't really know what that's about. And the camera, my second Blink camera was supposed to arrive today. It's still saying out for delivery. But the postal man already came. But y'all already know. I y'all already been down this road with me. How they how that be going with me. It'll say still out for delivery, but it yet it still is still won't show up until the next day. So I'm already prepared for that to happen. Um recorded this wig video. This is from Asteria Hair. Girl, bomb. I'm just shocked and amazed at how flat these wigs are coming now because I could have never Never, ever, 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 ever gotten my unit this flat on my own head. Never. I could have never done that. So I'm feeling this little 12 inch bob. But right now I've just been taking it easy. So I edited the wig video. I have the Target haul finished. And I know I keep saying, well, get into these purses. I'm going to go ahead and drop the tea on those tonight. I'm probably just going to just drop them back to back to back. So. You already know what's happening. That means I'm just go ahead and fulfilling my little obligations, getting those, just getting those up and getting y'all to tea. Um, I did have a seller reach out to me and they are sending me two smaller bags because y'all know I'm a big bag carrier. I like big bags. I've always been in my big bag. <laughs> it's just because I carry a lot of stuff around. But so I'm starting to get into the smaller bags. So I had a seller to send me two two bags in one shipment so i can do like a haul for them but y'all already know i'm gonna spill the tea over on insta because that's how how i have to do these um so yeah those are cute i'm excited about those and this private seller his stuff is like super affordable super affordable um yeah so that's pretty much all i got going on and as it pertains to my bedroom my camera okay there's two ways to get in my bedroom um here there's the main door and then there's the bathroom you can come into my bedroom through the bathroom there's like a door in the hallway that opens up to the bathroom and you can make a a turn down into my bedroom it's weird but I like it though. So just in case somebody want to be slick and <laughs> bypass the main door and come into my room through the bathroom, I'll be able to see it because I'm going to put the camera right over there in that corner. So that way I'll capture the whole room. I'll know what's going on at all times. Okay. Um, What else I got going on? That's about it. I'm going to go out here and see what I've gotten deliver because sometimes i can get all my stuff in one delivery it's just not marked delivered because the guy just didn't scan the, the box or whatever i'm hoping that everything's out there and then i'm gonna go ahead and change the lock tonight so i don't have to worry about doing that before i go to work tomorrow because we already know y'all already know what time is because as soon as i turn that corner to go to work they're going to walk their asses down here to make a big deal about that lock. If that lock is still back, it's still on there. I ain't even, like I said, I don't want no smoke with them. I don't want to cause no friction for real, for real. All I wanted was my little drawer repaired. And I got a gut feeling that they'll be in here tomorrow to go ahead and repair the drawer track. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Name it. 
I might see him naked. Because the drawer track is the problematic piece. That's been broken for forever. And I've called them many times about that. And they'll come in and do a little something, something, and then fix it for the moment. Something that I really and truly could have done for myself. And then it's back off track, and now I'm snatching on it again. But that's the thing with these. But you know they just be hiring regular, regular, regular people off the street to do these um, handyman and maintenance man positions. Child, they don't know uh, nothing about fixing them for real. They really don't. And that's cool, but just say that, but just send somebody down here to fix something that really needs to be fixed so you don't really have to keep hearing our mouths about things if you just hire the right people instead of just putting bodies in positions because because a lot of these folks, and I don't mean to be stereotypical, but have you seen some of them walking around, child, you're like, now you know he ain't no maintenance man. He know he don't know how to fix that. <laughs> and they don't. They just be walking around in their little uniforms shooting the shit. But that's cool and all. Get your paycheck. Do what you got to do. Fake it till you make it. Ain't that what they say? But nonetheless, don't bring it over in here. Don't come in here playing around in my apartment. Keeping me upset about stuff. But for the most part, I will say this. I've had my share of little issues in here, but they never drug out this long. I don't know what it was about that drawer or what made them just not want to deal with it. But like I said, I've never given, gave, given these people any types of issues ever. And I only call them when I truly have a problem. Like I eat the other day. Y'all remember when my toilet was acting a fool? Now, I ain't gonna lie. Now, my toilet is pretty much one of those things that's just kind of always, it's always kind of been problematic. I don't know what it is about it. And my neighbor, he said his is the same way. He's always having problems with it. And before, um, this guy moved in. It was another guy that lived there. Um, he had his little kids two little kids. I want to say they was twins, a little boy and a and a little girl. But I remember him telling me that he was having all types of problems with his front bathroom toilet. I just don't know. It's just an older building that they've renovated and they really look nice on the inside. That's why I fell in love with this spot. When I toured it, I was like, oh, I love the layout. Despite the fact that there aren't any overhead lights in the ceiling in any of the rooms, I, you know, I just said, okay, I can deal with that. But in actuality, I really couldn't. I really can't, but it is what it is. It's a dark little apartment. Once the sun goes down, girl, it is dark, dark. But I still, like I said, I like the layout. And the only reason why I really went with this place is because of the price at the time. The price was really nice and reasonable for its updates and upgrades and i like the fact that this was one of a few apartments that you could come into and you're not coming into it through the kitchen or you're not stepping directly in and like into the liver you know how you can just open up the door and you just immediately in like this doesn't give that you're not immediately in and if you're having deliveries or somebody just coming to the door to ask you something or borrow something they can't just see in and see what you got going on in it okay that's one reason why i like this you have a little privacy as it pertains to the door area and a lot of these other apartments that we've toured they're like that you walk in in immediately into the kitchen like you're in the kitchen or you're immediately in the living room and there's nothing wrong with that i just don't really like that as i get older you know i really big on my privacy i just don't want the delivery people just seeing all of my business and i don't want you just all up in here unless you got business to be all up in here unless you're helping me bring something in and you know and that comes with an invite but, um, yeah, I just had a little lunch earlier. I had some wings and fries, but what time is it now? Uh, seven minutes to five. So I'm going to cook dinner in a few hours because I am hungry. I went to bed hungry last night. Uh, I'm going to go check the mail. 
and go get me some beignets. And then come on back and relax and um, see what we got. Let's see if these packages really did come. And yeah, change. I'm definitely going to change that um, door lock tonight, like I said, before I go to bed. So that's what we're going to go do. So let's go ahead and get started. Got the hot beignets. They smoking up the box. I'm addicted now. I am addicted. Once I discover something that I like, I have to have it for days straight before I'm over it again. That's just how I operate. That's why I can never be. I can never try drugs because I I know I feel like I will be addicted. <laughs> I I just gotta say no to drugs. All right, so it came. All right, so when I came in from getting the beignets, I had a package at the door. And this is the camera. What's crazy is that, like I said, I had two separate deliveries from the postman from Amazon today. That's crazy. They're working backwards. They should have just delivered them both at the same time. So this is my second Blink camera. The next one, I think, I don't know. I'll probably get them all in red. No, red and white. Because the one up front is white. This one that's going in my room is going to be white. I said I was going to get it in black to put it in there, in the YouTube room, my bag room. But maybe I should just stick the white because it just goes with the wall better. Be a little more inconspicuous. But then if it's black and if I set it on the shelf, then it's really hidden. But I wanted it to kind of be noticeable so you would think twice about doing whatever you're doing to deter you from doing it because if you don't see it and you don't know it's there you still might go ahead and you know do something nefarious but we'll see i think i'll probably just go at white and put it up high instead of trying to disguise it on the shelves in there you know does that make sense All right, I'm going to go ahead and install this now, get this going. Then next, we'll do the lock. We'll go ahead and change the lock. And then I'm going to start cleaning up and getting this place ready for them to come snoop around while I'm at work tomorrow. All right, so got it out of the box. I'm going to leave the little film on until I actually get it on the wall. In position, I'm trying to figure out which side of the wall. So if I put it right there, yeah. And I'm actually looking at my entire room in the reflection. So yes, that's gonna be perfect. Right there, we get the whole thing. So that's kind of what needs to happen in the other room too. I need to put it in the same position, same spot. gonna be it's gonna work out we're gonna be all right we gonna be all right we gonna be all right look long as i can just see what's going on so i can press me some more charges i'm good <laughs> for snooping around and stealing but we don't want we're not gonna claim that because this is just gonna be preventative measures right preventative measures so I want this to go seamlessly down the corner because I don't want nothing, you know, like random cords hanging around. So this is be this is gonna work. All right, and then I'll get my step ladder, and we're gonna put it on the wall. Okay, so we just got one more screw to put in. This is the easiest install ever, though. And I got it in the perfect place. Only thing that I don't like is the way the cord swings, but I can fix that though. So yeah, two little screws. It's already set up because I already have the Blink app. So you just scan the barcode on the back and it automatically connects to the app 
and then it connects to your Wi-Fi. And now you can always monitor your home. Now we're just gonna clip down the frame. There we go. But now we're gonna, what is this, like a thin little, we'll take off the little plastic so we can get a good view. All right, it's up there. All right, so this is what it looks like installed. So we're gonna run the cord to where it just runs seamlessly down the seam or the crack of the wall. I'm really not liking the cord though. And I thought I could hide it, but it's not long enough. And it's really lower than I wanted it because of the cord. Uh, I may have to move it over the TV let me see all right so the camera's up i got it right here i know it looks like a weird spot but it really isn't um and the cords are hidden very good so that's what it's going to be and i like it and it gets the entire room especially the entryway really well and the second entryway so yeah this works all right so the placement doesn't look really really bad um and even if it did it's just it's, it just has to be right now it just is what it is and though I, you're probably wondering why didn't i just go ahead and put this one over there in the other room it's because that room already has um a lock on the doorknob so like i said once i slow down and relax tonight i'll go ahead and order another one i'm gonna go ahead and just order another one and then we'll put that one up as soon as that one gets here because as you see it takes minutes to um install these i'm gonna go ahead and change out this lock real fast before i go to bed pretty simple it looks like a lot but this is just a whole bunch of old mess it doesn't take long at all super simple and quick just a couple of screws all right so we got it off now we just put the old school one back on Go back in the original box so that is all of that so we're finished with that old school stuff is a breeze Got our old school lock back on old school lock took 10 minutes so i'm at work getting ready to wrap up my shift but i did get the lock changed last night because in my head i just knew they were going to make me a priority and come on down and fix the track of the drawer but girl that didn't even happen they didn't they didn't come over so maybe tomorrow i got a feeling though it'll be this week I got a feeling it'll be this week, but I ain't tripping. It just is what it is. And even if they don't come at all, um, I can fix and do the rest myself. I really could. I'm not even worried about it.
So this would happen when I'm starving. Like I literally haven't eaten all day. We boarded all these people up on time, only for them to prepare to do plane again because we're on maintenance. Y'all could have been here all night. I can't take it. All right. Yeah. Let's starting to come off. Here comes the captain again. Y'all, so I had to stop in public to get some last minute things. I need some blue cheese. All right, I got everything I need. Y'all, it's 7.59. I left work at right at seven o'clock. I'm playing my food. That's how hungry I was. I was not playing. I came in, took that blazer off, and started cooking, girl. All right, so we got steak, broccoli, and mashed potatoes. Y'all know how I do. This is like one of my favorite meals to cook. And it's the fastest, as you see. <laughs> We're gonna watch Miss Pat show while I eat. It is Wednesday, 9.06. I had a good sleep. This package came last night, but y'all know I was tired and hungry when I came in. I ate, took my bath, and went to bed. So let's see what we got here. Sparkly. So we got a sparkly handbag. It's real cute. Okay. Replacement sparkles. And it comes with a long strap. She's cute. Now, this would have been cute with some of y'all's Renaissance outfits. So cute for Beyonce. All right, so you attach the long strap to the D-rings on either side of the straps inside. All right, she's cute. Super cute. Really nice. I'll find some place to carry my my sparkles. Fits a nice amount of things. It's small but surprisingly big. Wallet, phone, small makeup pouch, keys, everything fits perfectly inside. Very nice, very pretty. Don't want to misplace the rhinestones. Let's see what else we have. It's so sparkly. Girl, I wish you could really see it in the light. It is dancing. The rhinestones are dancing in the light. So pretty. Alright, this one came up. Nice little package. Shining your life. <laughs> okay. 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 Long strap. What's in here? What's in here? Okay. Earrings. Push through. And these earrings can be worn with either. Super cute. Let's take a closer look. All right, those extra well, two extra earring backs are in there. Straighten them out. 
But yeah, these are so pretty. Okay. Bag and earrings. Very nice. I love that they included the earrings. Because would you have remembered that you needed sparkly earrings to go with your sparkly bag? That was well thought out. I probably would have, but... <laughs> These are really nice. Really like those, but let's get into the bag. It is super cute. Nice for a dinner event, clubbing, a Renaissance concert. Really nice and on trend right now. I like it. What you think? And you can pick both of these up from Amazon. Their links will be down below. But so nice. which one I like best. They both will serve a purpose, but I love them both. I love this one because it has all the silver. And then this one is dressy, but yet casual at the same time because it has like a tote strap. So you can get away with wearing your blazer and jeans, um, clear, clear heels or clear sparkly heels with this. And it'll be a total vibe, y'all. And this was a long strap for this bag. But I wouldn't strap this one. I would just wear this on my shoulder or my forearm. Because it is so cute. To show off the detail. Very nice though. But let's look at the strap. Again, everything will be linked down below should you be interested. But it's the chain for me. And I like it when my bags come with removable chains because I like to mix and match and add my chains to other bags too. But this one is a very nice. I love it. So be sure to check them out down below. Yes. is blowing full blast this is why you need a snuggie on the plane look at that air thank you <laughs> she's doing what I want to be doing right now yeah me too <laughs> welcome back welcome back welcome back and happy saturday saturday i had picked up the camera or well, this phone because i don't know i've just been busy for the last couple of days so we're starting now and i'm on my way out for a chill day at work it's gonna be a chill day and to update you on the drawer, look at it. <laughs> it's back in and fixed. They came in the day before yesterday while I was at work. I was thinking they was going to come back that Tuesday and come in here. But they didn't. It took them a few days. And then I called to ask about it. Well, it, it, it's low-key a little drama behind that, but not that much. They came to the door on Wednesday. And then I was like, oh, wait, they didn't go in. They knocked. It was like maintenance. I got a video of that for my ring camera. And then I called the office back. I was like, he tried to go in. She's like, no, that was an accident. He was really trying to go to such and such, not that one. And I was like, oh, I said, well, um, they was, I said, well, Joseph said he was coming back over there to fix the track. She's like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. He said they took a drawer down there, but they didn't say anything about a work order. He says, but we don't have a work order in here for you. I was like, okay, I understand that. And I kind of figured that they weren't going to put in a work order. It was just a whatever. And he just wanted to come down and kick me in the nuts. But nonetheless, 
I said, okay, that sounds great. If you don't mind, if you can put me in a work order for the drawer track itself, the track has just always been off. Like when I say off, it's off. Like there's nothing holding it or securing it in place. Like I think it's missing a screw. But like I told you guys before, I knew all along what was wrong with it. I could have easily fixed this, but nope, I didn't. But anyway, so Thursday, they actually came in and he fixed it. Um, so I'm happy about that. Uh, it's a little off though, still, but nonetheless, it's fixed. Like it sits now lower, but I'm not going to complain because at the end of the day, this is not my, my home, my forever home. This is not my, you know what I mean? This is not mine. So I ain't even tripping about that. I don't even care no more. Long as the drawer goes in and I can actually use it. And it's not, even though it sits now a little lower than the other one, it, this one works way better than that one now. So like I said, I don't even give a damn. I don't give a damn. I'm just happy that that spot now has a drawer sitting in it. Um, oh, I got my watch on. But we're going to go ahead and head out. Um, oh, this is another thing. I got to contact Amazon when I get situated because I was due another camera to arrive on Wednesday. Um, well, actually, it was supposed to arrive Tuesday. But I got a failure of delivery notification um, from Amazon and I don't know that was just so weird because you know how when you go in and order stuff from Amazon you don't change your shipping information it's just autom automatically there you just click buy and move and you know move on it's like undeliverable due to insufficient address but when you go and click it my full address is there as per usual but I ended up didn't getting it for whatever reason I was like well okay I've had something similar like this happen before four and it just came the next day but this totally did not come so i need to contact amazon to see what's going on with that and see if they can send out a replacement because i'm leaving to go out of town on tuesday and i was hoping to have the third camera up in the room but it's not that big of a deal because my bag room has a lock now that doorknob does have a lock on it so i'm not pressed about that though but Either send me a refund or send me, you know, the camera because no one has reached out or, or said anything about a refund or what have you yet. But that's all I got going on. But we're finna head up to this airport. I'm wearing my cute blue Nikes that I bought during the Academy sale. So cute. I absolutely love these. So comfortable. All right, but this is only one shot of espresso. But I put two little teaspoons of brown sugar in it. Instead of shaking it, I'm just whisking it up. This gives it that frothiness that you get from shaking it. I'm going to put a piece of ice in it too. Cool it down faster so it doesn't melt your ice real quick when you pour it over it. Ooh, it looks so good. So frothy. I literally do this almost every other day. Now I'm going to take some white chocolate. I need to order me the, the big one. The with the pump on it because I literally use this a lot, a lot, a lot. Now I'm going to pour my espresso over it. All right, let's get our oat milk. I'm not told you I be doing the most. This is how I be flirting with being late for work. This is the thing. This is the type of things I do. Ooh. Let's do some in there. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. This is our oatmeal. Let's just start out. Pour our oat milk in there. We got enough in there for another one. But I got a brand new 
oat milk in the refrigerator. Heavy cream. Half and half. And now I'm gonna put a big pump of vanilla. The pumpkin is already sweet enough. I probably didn't need that vanilla. Now we're gonna make some cold foam by whisking it up real good. Starbucks, who? It feels so good outside right now. Oh, it looks so good. All of it. We want all of it. Mmm. Perfect. This is my um, cinnamon and cocoa mix. Then I'm gonna hit it with a little pumpkin spice too. Perfection, perfection in a cup. Girl, when I tell you this is so good, this is a new style cup that I'm trying from Amazon. I like this one though. This one doesn't have that little flip piece over the, the sip lid. Mm. This is so good. Mm. Definitely the move. Mm. And these are the type of things that was kept in this drawer. So for over a month, girl, all this stuff was just sitting on top of the counter, just taking up all the space. But this was my coffee and tea drawer. All my coffee needs and stuff are in here. I'm pulling out, but the mailman is pulling in, so I feel like I'm gonna swing back around just to see if I'm getting anything. Because, you know, I wanna know. I had to wait on the little gate though, open. All right, so I'm gonna swing back around because I'm curious to know. All right, so we did get a package. Who is this from? Bingo Star. Oh, okay, this is my Amazon body suits. Is it one? Yeah, it's an Amazon body suit. I got a different order of lounge body suits last, last, well, yesterday. It was just last night when I got them out of my package box. But yeah, I'll show you all of this stuff when we get back to the house. But you're gonna need some lounge wear. I needed some lounge wear. So that's what we got. And this one's from Vingo Star of Amazon. I'll have everything linked down below y'all know how i do but yeah i guess we'll get over here to the job i'm hungry though i hadn't eaten stop and get some lunch but i know i'm gonna get questioned about my frames but these were an actual gift from um a few of my friends who just come back from vacation and they saw these and said, these were so you. So they brought these back for me. But they're so cute. I haven't seen these online yet, but I'll try to see if they're on Amazon. I feel like everything is on Amazon. I feel like I probably could find them if I look for them. But if I find them, I'll have them linked. Cause I have been wanting glasses like this for so long and I was prepared willing able and ready to buy the actual ones because these are dupes of a pair of gucci eyeglasses that they have like this well you have the of course the option to get 
your prescription in them or just leave them as fashion glasses. And they have a tinted brown option as well and they retail for like 300 bucks. Super cute. When I saw those, when they launched on Gucci's website, I was like, yeah, I want those. I have been wanting these for forever. And then when they brought me back these, when she said, these were so you, I just had to get them for you. Thank you. I love them. I absolutely love these. So I can see me throwing these on. Good face day, bad face day. It's a look. I love these frames. So cute. I was supposed to bring my nails. I might have a pack at my desk. We'll see. Mm. Now let's, we'll just have to do them when I get home. It's okay for now. Um, yeah, so we'll try on and I'll show you the lounge pieces that I picked up. And they can serve as foundation pieces or underwear if you will but I just want them for loungewear mm. this is so good but you definitely have to try this so good and but now that I'm doing espresso regular iced coffee like my usual suspects that I buy like the Starbucks iced coffee that you just build yourself you know and you're dunking I can't do them. They, it just does not taste the same anymore to me. It's like, if it's not espresso thing, girl, I don't even want it. The light just randomly came on. Mm -hmm. Oh, either it was already on. I'm just now paying attention to it. But, yeah. Now that I've been on this espresso kick, nothing compares. It doesn't give me that coffee kick, so it has to be espresso or nothing now. <laughs> give me my my strong coffee taste, please. With this, with all the additives, it doesn't give that though. But it's just a vibe. This is just so good. I'm telling you though, it's just different from those regular iced coffees, if you know what I mean. We're gonna pull up to the Wendy's and get something to eat. Yeah. I'm here. Made it to work. I got Princess parking. I'm just going to eat my food right now. Enjoy it while I can. In the car. Because I feel like, well, I know that time I walk in there, it'll be, Misha, Misha, can I? Will you? Please, <laughs> this, that, the third. Like, I just got here. I just want to eat. So I know if I'm, if I'm going to enjoy this, I need to do it. I need to go ahead and do it now before I go in. Mm. You know, I had to go for that fofo fo The double stack. The fries. The nuggets with sweet and sour sauce. And I got a Coke. <laughs> I'm drinking Coke today. Those ladies are cute. All right, guys, work was easy. Headed to the house and relax. All right, guys, welcome back to my place, mi casa. Finally home from work. I did a good, good little stint. I ain't gonna tell you how long I stayed, but just know I was there, okay? I went to work. I did a little work. Did what needed to be done, okay? And now I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> but I'm going to show you a couple of things that I have received um, through the week from Amazon. Some really cool finds. This first one is an oversized overcoat. And when they say oversized, they really do mean oversized. I think what I'm going to do is get this in a smaller size because I absolutely love the coat. Love it. I just need it in a smaller one. Let me go ahead and show you that. I'm going to take off this blazer so you can see this beauty right here super cute she's fresh out of the packaging so she needs to be hung up a bit you know how that goes or if you have a steamer you can steam it i prefer steaming my things like this but yeah all right the direct link to everything is always in that description box 
But yeah, super oversized. Oh, and Gigi. Girl. Definitely nice though. I love it. Not as thick as I thought it would be, which can be a good thing. Definitely will be great for traveling. You can use this as your coat and a blanket <laughs> on the plane. But yeah, I just wish it had a little more structure, but we can always give things like this more structure should we need to. Let me show you the full length. All right, it's definitely a vibe. It's definitely giving fall. Okay, loving it. And you can wear all your faves under your thick turtleneck sweaters, bro. It's just super cute. I do love it. You can even put a belt around it. Super chic, super chic. But you can always have this tailored to your needs. Super cute though. What you think? Super affordable. The link will be down below. Check it out if you're interested. All right, so on my quest to find comfortable lounge wear when I'm relaxing on the couch, watching TV, um, this is Bingo Star as well. Bingo Star. All of this is from the same seller, which is great because I got the one piece pants jumper from this brand, and then I got the three piece set. And these little short jumpers that also can act as foundation pieces and or shapewear. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on all of these pieces for you so you can see how they look on the body. The Bingo Star of Amazon. This is the one piece jumpsuit. And as you see, it is racer back, full length pants. All right, so here we are in the Vingo Star jumpsuit. And as you see, you can wear this as a layering piece, foundation piece. This would be cute with those long sleeve flannel jackets that everybody was going crazy over last fall. So cute with that. The long denim duster will be cute with this. A cropped denim duster would be cute with this. It's just nice, very nice. If you live in places where the temperatures are just cold, you can just wear it as underwear in the houseware loungewear for me it's going to be loungewear run running errands in but i think it's i think it's nice it's cute so check them out everything is super cheap and affordable amazon is just that girl when it comes to these type of outfits all right so here is the short set Super cute, super comfortable, great for loungewear. Cause that's what it's gonna be for me. So I am loving my new loungewear sets from Bingo Star of Amazon. Super cute, my new comfy house aesthetic. Um, yeah, let me show you one more again. One more again, these cute sparkly bags that are also from Amazon. I know that I unboxed them here for you, but girl, look how sparkly these are. These are great if you still have plans to go see Beyonce. These are your Renaissance bags. Super cute. So make sure you check these out. Everything will be linked below in that description box, okay? I am about to relax. Probably have some more pumpkin spice iced coffee and watch Disney Plus. <laughs> that is it for me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Until next time, I will see you in my next video. And there will definitely be another video. Bye.